So let's take this idea of the Rubik's Cube and that now let's apply it to movies. I love movies too. Think of this as like the perfect movie. What's your favorite type of movie? I like science fiction mixed with comedy. Sci-fi comedy. Okay, on Netflix. Ah, you have a lot of options. But before you came, came on Netflix, there was a lot of people on Netflix that were watching movies too. It's true. It's been around forever. Do you remember getting DVDs in the mail? I no, because I'm just so young and so vibrant and fertile, so I don't remember that. <laughs> but I think it is. If you're gonna try to figure out what movies you likes, the Rubik's Cube would essentially say people who like sci-fi what is it sci-fi comedies that we said sci-fi comedies are people who like this director they have watched these movies in the past but they watch sci-fi and then realize they wanted comedies because sci-fi was too much for them so there was a pattern that they saw getting to sci-fi comedies it's very specific and so when you come here and you're saying maybe you know you want sci-fi comedies maybe you don't know but this has already been solved before you even got on so this has been solved maybe like several times so you just like come on with your not knowing exactly what you want but let's say you watch a couple movies and automatically you're like not enough comedy not enough sci-fi there is a way since these have been solved in the past to say Yep, this is someone who would really want not completely comedy, not completely sci-fi, sci-fi comedy, and then this comes to you. That's pretty nice. It kind of sounds like a big old input-output machine. Yes, so then here's the fundamental problem, and this is the thing that a lot of people think about, is how do you understand, since we're not, we aren't mine, no one is a mind reader, is how do you really get from here to here? And there is many different ways. And the main way is to really just have a lot of past experience, a lot of past people that watch movies, and then a lot of observing that and seeing these patterns. And if we can have a lot of past experience. How many Netflix subscribers are there? There's like 200. Oh. Too many, too many. Then we're more accurately to get you from here. So it sounds like what you're saying is the more seasons you go, the better the taste. That's exactly what I'm saying. Look at past experience. It's not just past experience. It's also saying, okay, you know what? We can take this Rubik's Cube and maybe clone it. And if you don't have the ability to clone, create different simulations. It's called augmenting data. And you just keep augmenting the data and creating iterations of it. So then you can... So are you saying that you're trying to solve problems that haven't even happened yet? Just to be ahead of the curve? Yeah, what I'm saying is that, like let's pretend like for skincare. We've only seen blackheads, but the blackheads have only been on like white people. And, we're, and maybe we have too many white people, we have some people who are black, but we need more black people so we can really make sure that we're creating solutions for all skin types. So like what we need to do- it Sounds very inclusive. Very inclusive, but then also saying like, you know what, we need to make sure that the outcomes are reflecting of the population. So let's pretend we actually don't have enough sci-fi comedy viewers. I know. So it's sort of the exact same problem where we say, you know what, we can actually take this small group of people who really enjoys this genre and we can really understand it by cloning them through these different simulations. This sounds like the plot to a new movie on the <laughs> But really the key is this. So there's two takeaways right now. The takeaway one is that you really need to make sure that everything is labeled correctly. So you need to know that blue is blue, red is red, yellow is yellow. Again, uh, with skincare, that's pimples are pimples, wrinkles are wrinkles, oily skin is oily skin. That's 
issue number one. And also with movies, sci-fi, sci-fi, comedy is comedy, Woody Allen is Woody Allen, whatever. Everything needs to be labeled correctly. Then number two is really the data. And this is kind of what we're talking about, which is that you have enough data in there where it can start to actually like do the job. And then there's several other issues. Yeah, so the data is going to come from uh, literally you, the subscriber, when you watch Netflix, if you're helping with Netflix, past subscribers, or create these, they're called training sets. It's like people who are not subscribers, but you're creating it for future subscribers. So this is a great point. So let's pretend I have never seen the color turquoise, but we have seen blue, we have seen light blue, we have seen baby blue. So when turquoise comes around, because of what we've been able to pull so far, we can say, we're pretty sure this is turquoise. 